The job we're going to tackle today is putting new speakers into the front doors of the Pajero. What I've got here is the Rockford Fosgate Prime six and three quarter inch speakers. Is that the size you are going to need? Let's see what's in here. An instruction manual. You know it's quality when it's asking you to record the serial number. Six and three quarter inch, 40 watt RMS, two way speakers. So you've got your little tweeters, you've got your, your mounting hole cutouts. Let's have a look at one of these here. Yeah, look at that. So you've got your mica reinforced cone, tweeters here. You come in a little enclosure here. Don't know what we're going to do about that. Oh, there we go. Little spring clip in there. There's your little crossover built in. Some mounting hardware, some cable, some more cable. This is so you can mount the tweeters in another way. Now a lot of people make taking off this door trim harder than what it needs to be. It's very simple. A screw here, a screw here, lift this off. There's a screw in here. There's another one here. You don't have to worry about pulling this out. A light down here. You're just going to pull that and then push it up and then you'll be able to unhook the wiring loom for this, the connector, and you'll be able to pull the light out of there. This one here always makes people a little bit anxious. This is very easy as well. I'll show you. So I'll just pop this little sucker off. Actually, he's a bit loose in there. It's not good. Not good at all. Get this fella out. You just pop him out. There's a screw right there. Got one up here. You got your old favourite here, which you've just got to get in there. And you pull him out, and the clip, the clip is still in there, and we'll pull that out in a second. Pop the door clips underneath here, like that. Pull the little tweeter out. She'll just pop up like that. Got that. We've got a little clip here. That was the little thing that was holding our little trim on before. And there's your light. And that is your door trim. Done. Very easy. You get your um, speaker cable coming in through the front. And then the, ca and then the uh, speaker wires go through to the back. A lot of people then, with their aftermarket speakers, they'll run this cable back in behind. You don't need to do that. I'll show you how. First of all though, let me get this speaker out. So now what I've done is I've run the disc grinder and just pulled this, just cut all that out. So now I can actually separate this speaker cone from the surround like that. And that is then going to fit over the top and we're going to reuse this. I'm going to solder new wires onto that, run him around the back and onto the speaker. So you can see there, got all that out. Now that side's the positive and that side's the negative. Using the uh, capillary action of the solder, so you don't get any cold joints. The solder's drawn down into all the bits of the metal and all the strands of the uh, core. And that's going to fit over there like that. Also just carved a little relief for the cable just down in there. Now the next thing I need to do is because there's a gap now between here and where this screws will come in, this will actually pull around when I put it in the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some spaces. This is the part that's going to be on the door against the door. And the screw is going to come in this way. And so I need behind the screw, I need to basically be the same depth. I'm just going to pack that out. And the way I'm going to do that, just with some nylon washers, cut them in half and just super glue them. You'll find you'll need three half washers. They're just M8. So there you go. I've done all those washers now. Now they're, they're essentially the same height and they also help locate the speaker. So while I've got the speaker out, what I've done is I've just peeled back this 
dust film here and I've run this sand absorbing mat inside here. Some people run it on the outside here. I'm running it on the inside and the reason why I'm doing that is to insulate the outside of the door and probably makes the door a few grams heavier. So we've got the tweeter now. Super easy this one. Just going to take a couple of screws out. Unplug him. See there the little crossover capacitor. He just pops out and the new one this is can be mounted it's spring loaded behind there so you can angle it we don't actually need that so we're going to pull him out sit him in this housing like that it's not going to go anywhere sits in there nice and then he'll go back he'll just screw back in there like that and be held into place you can see then there again we've got the crossover capacitor built in so all we got to do is just wire him straight in and that's your tweeter. So then we've just got to cut him onto that and we'll splice him into there. So we'll trim this off about there. Hopefully I can, yep, yeah, that's good. Goodbye factory wire. So the one with the black stripe is negative. So it marries up to the negative one down here. So I've checked that with a multimeter. So we're gonna put our negative on here. Just sit him in there a little bit. So he can't go anywhere on me. Now somewhere out there, there's an actual auto electrician who knows his shit, or her, who's looking at this going, this boy's doing this all wrong. Well, I only did a grand total of three weeks work experience at an auto electrician. Squeeze him on there. Look at that, it's perfect. Righto, ready to put the main speaker in now. The woofer, as it is sometimes known. A little bit of uh, sicker flex in between the old uh, plastic frame and the new speaker um, just to seal that a little bit. It's just going in nicely. Just making sure that it's um, flush on all sides, I'm not getting hung up on anything. It's quite successful. Let's do a quick test. Make sure we got sound where we need it. Sound coming out of there. Sound coming out of the tweeter. It's looking pretty good. Time to put the door trim back on. Now, this is the reason why that screw came straight out before. So I'll need to get a um, little uh, plastic screw insert for that. So I'll do that another day. I'm gonna put this Light back in here, plug that back in, sit him back on there, put that cute little tweeter back in there, let's check that she's sitting down nicely before we pop him back in, so that's good. You've got this one that goes back in here, it's that nice little bit of trim, he just clips in there nicely, got one that goes back in here. As we said, I'm not going to put him back in because there's nothing to ride him home. Now see how that clips in down there and then clips back in there. So he just goes in there like that. And that's how you take him out as well. And you see when I was trying to get him off before, I was trying to get my screwdriver up in there to push that off. So that's basically all you're doing. You're just pushing him off. You're pushing that clip off so that that can then pull forward. It's simple. Don't overcomplicate it, people. Just got to pop him back in, and she's done. Really forgot this little screw up here, ladies and gentlemen. Job done.